Also today, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell appeared in public for the first time in a week and promised that nothing is off the table when it comes to fixing the league's growing domestic abuse crisis. In fact, Goodell today spoke this late this afternoon and he admitted that he made mistakes and he even apologized for letting fans down. But he says he will not, he will not step down. I got it wrong on a number of levels, from the process that I led to the decision that I reached. But now I will get it right and do whatever is necessary to accomplish that. We strongly, strongly condemn and will punish behavior that is totally unacceptable. Now the league is taking several steps. In the next 30 days, all players, staff, coaches, and executives will go through education sessions on domestic violence and sexual assault. In addition, information on resources to help with the handling of domestic violence in the cities of each team will also be made available. And the NFL will provide funding for some of those services, including the National Domestic Violence Hotline. The NFL says the league is providing enough funding to cover all of those in need, something it has not been able to do before. And this comes on the same day as we've learned the Indiana Criminal Justice Institute will withhold more than a million dollars from local domestic violence groups. The group says it will only pay out the money after the organization submit a spending plan to be considered. But some of those organizations claim they have done that and have still not gotten their funding. And for more than a decade, Eyewitness News has been shattering the silence on domestic violence. If you are in need of help, or if you know someone who needs help, or you just want to speak with someone, go to our website at WTHR.com and click on Shattering the Silence. You can also call 211 to learn what resources are available for you.